Good morning and welcome back to Haywire Homestead. So yesterday I went to my parents and we butchered 20 meat birds that they had raised and I brought four of them home for our family. What I'm gonna be doing with them today is I'm going to put them in the roaster, cook them a bit, and then cut all the meat, cut and pull all the meat off the bones so that way I can actually can it. That way I can store it, I can pull it out, I can put it in soups and stews, I can make tacos with it, I can do all kinds of things with it and it's super easy, I don't have to worry about defrosting and cooking it, it's already cooked. All I gotta do is warm it up and add whatever seasonings I want to it and it's ready to go. So super simple, super easy, uh, fast meals. So, you know, instead of buying TV dinners, I'm just kind of making our own thing. So I'm gonna show you guys how I get started. So I decided I'm actually gonna cook one of them for dinner and it's been, they were soaking um, for tw about close to 24 hours now um, and change the water a couple of times. I usually like to let them soak at least, at least a day before I do anything with them. So what I've got in here is salt and pepper on three nice big birds with onions and garlic. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven at 300 degrees for a couple of hours. And then I'll show you how I get it all pulled off the bone, packed in jars and into the canner. Okay, so it's been several hours uh, since I put these in the oven. And I added water to it to help develop the broth. Well, this broth will be what I pack the meat in. And then I will add all of the bones out of here into the stock pot, in addition to with any uh, leftover broth. And then that will be cooked slowly for bone broth. And I'll take a link to the video of um, bone broth on how I do that. But I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this broken up and ready to go in two jars. Okay, so now I've got it all uh, deboned and I am heating the broth that it was in back up because I want that hot to put it into the hot jars. Those just came out of hot water. Um, and then I've got my pressure canner over here and I'm gonna start heating the water up in that. There's a couple of inches of water in here as well as a splash of uh, white vinegar. The white vinegar helps keep your jars from getting cloudy from um, water minerals and things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill them up. I'm gonna pack it in pretty, pretty tight and I'm gonna do half inch headspace. So it's actually gonna be just below the neck. If you overfill it, fill it all the way up here is, is it the, at the pressure and the heat. Um, I've found that the broth will boil back out and then my water and my canner is greasy. All my, my jars are greasy. Now they could still wind up being okay and seal okay, but then you've gotta wash everything. So if I keep it down there, I ensure that the seal stays clean, it cleans uh, or it seals properly and I don't have a mess to clean up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started filling these jars. The other thing I forgot to mention is when you pour the broth in, you're gonna to wanna to burp your jar to get rid of any air bubbles. So the back of a, a spoon, a, a butter knife, I'm using the back of a wooden spoon here and you just press down on it and it helps get all the air bubbles out. And you wanna make sure your chicken's covered by your broth. And then whenever I get done burping, then I'm gonna take a cloth or paper towel, damp paper towel, and I'm gonna wipe the rims of all of the jars before I put the seals and the rings on to be sure that it's clean and nothing will obstruct my seal. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that, get these in the camera, and we'll show you the finished product. Okay, so we're gonna look at our trusty ball blue book for canning and preserving. We're gonna go here for canning our chicken, duck, goose, and other game birds. You want that in water or broth. And you can do raw pack, um, but we're actually doing a hot pack where we're boiling, um, or we, we roasted actually our, our poultry, and then we cut it up and add the broth and simmered it. Um, and then down here, you're gonna fill up the jars. And then here, processing, and I'm sorry, there's a glare on it. You're gonna use the canner and it's 10 pounds of pressure after you vent the steam for 10 minutes, and you're going to do that, and I've got pint jars, and they're going to process for an hour and 15 minutes at 10 pounds of pressure. If you were doing quartz, you would do an hour and 30 minutes here. Once um, the time is up, I turn off the heat, and then we let it cool, um, and for the pressure on my canner, we would wait, and it actually just went up. I just turned it down, because the, the tin is right here, and it just went over a little bit. So once it gets back down to zero, then I will take the jars out of the canner and let them cool on the counter for 12 hours before I label them and 
put them away for later use. So that's pretty much it. That's how I do my canning of chicken. Hope y'all enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Take it easy.